This nonprofit has been forced to close because of a lawsuit they say is completely unwarranted. The center of the controversy, these tree-shaped air fresheners. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth explains. And you can see all the chips down here. From, Shine Adams started Sun Cedar in his Lawrence basement two years ago. It grew into a successful nonprofit paying $15 an hour to people who needed jobs the most. Financial distress, homeless people, people just out of jail or prison. Business was good. Their biggest hit, a cedar wood cutout air freshener. But that didn't sit well with Car Freshener Corporation out of New York, who sued. We received a letter saying that we had infringed. This air freshener company goes after anybody who's remotely close to their trademark, and they're unrelenting. Sun Cedar's product is a cedar tree cutout made out of actual cedar wood. The Car Freshener Corporation's product is an air freshener with an evergreen cutout made out of paper. Still, the resemblance was strong enough to shut down the Lawrence nonprofit for good. Adams says they stopped cutting the tree shapes, but it wasn't good enough to settle the lawsuit. We were trying to get away from the tree shape. We, we have no interest in continuing to make tree shapes. Kansas City attorney Julie Scott specializes in trademark cases. If you own a trademark, you are required to enforce it so that people don't get confused. If you don't do that, uh, it's a really big stick. You lose it. Now, former Sun Cedar employees like Abraham White Weasel, who was homeless for years, is looking for a job again. All this company is about is just to help people. And then you got this big company over here that just has their own, you know, mindset of wanting money. Adams promises this isn't the end. This is not a sad story. This was a bump in the road. But I'm not giving up. I know exactly what I want to do with my life, and I'm going to do it. Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News. Well, now we reached out to the Car Freshener Corporation and asked about the lawsuit. The company's response was no comment.